Hi everyone, it's Pam with Vintage Quinn Gifts and I have another What Sold on Etsy video for you guys. Um, the week before last was super, super slow. I had six orders the whole week, so um, I didn't do a video last week. So this is going to include um, the previous week as well. So this is for the last two weeks ending... Well, starting May, uh, April 23rd and ending May 6th. So let's get started and see what we got. First is this Bavarian China uh, plate. Um, I got this at Goodwill, I think. I'm pretty sure I paid a dollar for it. And... I've had this quite some time. I um, actually, I just pulled it from my shelf and took it up to my dining room to display on a new shelf that I put in there. And then a couple days later, it sold. So, and that sold for $16. And then next. Uh, is this really pretty federal glass diamond lattice um, bowl? And it's just a really pretty, um, much prettier in person. I uh, was wondering if it would sell just because of the shipping, but I didn't have this very long. It sold pretty quickly. I, I listed that just on April 7th, so... I think I paid a dollar or two for that, and that sold for 19 And then next are these, um, I think they're 1980s by rats. Uh, I got these at a little country store, thrift store. I think I paid 50 cents or a dollar for all of them. And I haven't had those too awful long. Those were listed on February 21st. Uh, and those sold for $12.99 with shipping included. And then next are these um, Arco Rock France. I say, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I say Arco Rock or Arco Rock. France, um, Diamond Starburst Bowls. I find these quite a bit, and they're just really pretty. Um, so when I find them, if they're a good price, I pick them up and then just use my same photos. So those, I probably paid $4 for all of those. And those sold for 24 And then next, this really pretty um, Taylor, Smith, Taylor Smith plate. I've had this, well, I actually had five of these. And I just think they're really pretty and different. They're old um, from the 1930s. But um, I just have had them for so long. Some lady uh, messaged me and asked if I would sell one. So I went ahead and um, sold her just one of the five. And I'm going to re-donate the rest of them. Um, but they're just really pretty. Uh, and she, I think I probably paid a dollar for each plate, so that was five dollars. And I sold the one plate for eighteen, with shipping included. And then next, these plastic candle rings. These were a freebie. They were inside a little, a little covered dish that I got. Um. I think I paid $2 for the dish and those are inside. I haven't had these very long. 
I listed those on April 25th, so not long at all. And those sold for $12.99 with shipping included. Cute. And that was it for the week before last. That was all the sales I had. I was getting kind of nervous because things were really slow. But things have picked up. So this one now is for April 30th through May 6th. Uh, these Martex um, washcloths, love the colors. I've had these, I actually found, I think a couple of towels and a couple of hand towels and, or, and maybe there were four washcloths. I don't remember now for sure. And I think I got them at Goodwill. I probably paid less than a dollar. We'll say a dollar each for those. I've had these quite a while. Let's see. So I've had these a year. Um, but so I paid a dollar uh, each for those. And those sold for $9. They were in really great shape. I love the colors. And then next is this really pretty Bavarian China teacup. Um, I got this at Goodwill, I think. Yeah, I got it at Goodwill. I, I paid a dollar for it. And that sold for $9. Uh, and then the same person also bought this really pretty matching. I think it's a, a butter dish, but very pretty. I love the little blue flowers marked on the back. I paid a dollar or two for that. And that sold for 19 and then next, is this little chalkware pixie. I've had this a pretty long time. I would say a year at least, maybe more. I had two of them. I sold the other one a few months ago. Uh, the person that bought this messaged me and said he was setting up a tiki bar and wanted to use it in his tiki bar. And he also asked if he could get a discount. So that was, well, I had it listed for 19 and with his discount, he got seven Seven something off, so it sold for eleven forty, and I paid two to four dollars for that at a um, a little consignment shop. But he got it, and he sent me a message and said it arrived safely, and he really likes it, so that's good. And the next are these three enameled um, metal nesting bowls. I think you pronounce it Kobe, Kobe Japan, three different sizes, just real, very retro looking. They were in really nice shape. Uh, I got those at Goodwill and I don't remember for sure what I paid for them, maybe, maybe $4 for all of them. And those sold for $32.99. And then next is this old book from 1929 called The Specialist. Um, it's about a man that builds outhouses. And it's just this silly little short story, but I guess it was a bestseller. Um, and I 
got that at the country country store thrift store. I think I only paid a quarter for that. And that sold for $16 with shipping included. I haven't had that too long. Let's see. Since January, so not too bad. And then next. Oh, these were really cool. Little mini souvenir um, postcards from Savannah, Georgia. They just had really cool artwork on them. All different scenes. I love this beach one and that one. This one's cool. But I had those for quite some time. I'm sure I paid a dollar for them, maybe two. And I know I've, I know I've uh, renewed these. So I've probably had those a year. But those finally sold for twenty eight. And the next are these lemon salt and pepper shakers by UNESCO. I believe I got these at Goodwill. I've had these a pretty long time. I probably paid two dollars for them. I've had them a year for sure. Uh, but they're cute. They still have the stoppers. And those sold for 15 And then next is this awesome afghan that I found at Salvation Army. I didn't pay very much for it. I would say $4 at the most. It was big. This is a full-size bed that it's on. And it's uh, the stitch is called Honeycomb Lattice. It was in great shape, clean. Well, I did wash it, but just very, very nice. And that sold for $69. So not bad at all. So if you can find some Afghans or even old blankets, they are definitely worth getting. And then next, this Disco Thermos, I cannot remember where I got this or what I paid for it. I'm thinking I, thinking I got it at Goodwill. And I probably paid a dollar or two for it, but it's um, from the 1970s Aladdin thermos with the disco theme. Um, yeah, I did get that at Goodwill. Now that now it's coming back to me. I uh, I haven't had that too terribly long. April 21st, so not really very long at all. So I don't remember for sure what I paid for it. We'll say $2. And that sold for $20. And then next are these Mikasa Buckskin Salt and Pepper Shakers <clears throat> designed by Ben Siebel or Seibel from the 1970s or 80s. I just have a really um, retro shape, kind of unique. They're different sizes, and they were in great shape. Made in Japan, original stoppers. I paid, I think I paid $2 for those at Goodwill. I haven't had them very long. April 18th is when I listed them. And those sold for 15 And then next 
is just this little blue ashtray. I've had this a long time. I got it at Goodwill. I'm sure I probably paid a dollar for it. Um, and that sold for $9.99 with shipping included. Very pretty. I like the color. And the next are these bronze tone chalkware sculptures, uh, sculpted um, bookends by, I don't know if, I don't know if I'm saying it right, E. Villainous. I had seen these at um, Salvation Army and they were $8 and I had them in my cart and then I decided I was, didn't want to pay $8 for them. So I uh, put them back and then I went back the next week and they were half price. So I got both of those for $4 and I sold those for 40 I haven't had them very long. March 29th, so not bad. Cute. I just thought it was unique that they have these. It looks like a little gecko and a, a snail. I don't know if there's a significance for that or what, but but they um they sold. And then next. These were from the Hilton in Chicago. My husband got them when he did a remodeling job there. So these were free. And actually there were two, these are two sided. You know how they'll stick out from the wall and you can see the sign from each side. Well, he had given some other guy the other side and then the guy decided he didn't want them and he threw them away. So, but that would have been really cool to have both sides for each. And I'm sure I could have gotten a lot more money for them, but I'm not complaining about the price. So those were free. I think these are from the seventies. Uh, but those were free and those sold for a hundred dollars. And then last, I've had this a really, really long time. Just a pretty um, glass ashtray in a brass filigree holder. I just realized that I didn't even put like brass holder, so that could have had something to do with why it was taking so long to sell. I, um, I believe, and I just put this on sale too. It was twenty. I originally had it for twenty eight. Now and then, and then it sold for twenty, and maybe twenty eight was too high. But I've had that a couple of years. So, so all in all, not a bad week. Hopefully, now things are going to stay picking up. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Thank you. Have a great week. Bye-bye.